All right, welcome into the show. Creative Crypto here. And I know it's been a while since my last video, but I'm back with another one here, guys, because we have some very exciting news today. And that was from the man, Richard Hart himself, that Pulse Chain and PulseX mainnet are expected to launch publicly in less than seven days. Now, this is absolutely huge news. This is what a lot of people have been waiting for around the Pulse Chain and Hex community. And this day is finally happening. I'm not going to celebrate yet until it actually launches, but this is great to see and great news. Because if you guys have sacrificed for Pulse Chain or PulseX and you've been using the test net, it's been really good and it's been pretty flawless in my estimation and you know the transactions are a tad slower like maybe just a couple seconds slower than the Binance Smart Chain or Avalanche or Solana but with that you get the added security and the full decentralization of a network and that's what Pulse Chain brings and honestly a couple seconds isn't gonna make a big difference it's still lightning fast the fees is the main thing the mining fees this is really good it's better than all of these other blockchains like BNB, Cardano, Solana, it's way cheaper than any of those to do smart contract interactions and DeFi on a decentralized blockchain. So that's the big thing about Pulse Chain, guys. And obviously, you know, looking at the test net, this liquidity of 77 billion is probably never going to happen within the next five years, maybe five to 10 years. You know, initially it's probably going to be, you know, maybe 7 billion at the very highest. I'd say between, you know, 1 to 7 billion is a good number. And that's not bad. You know, if we can get, you know, a tenth of that, you know, that would be really great. Okay. And the volume, of course, that corresponds with the liquidity. So just test net numbers, but looking pretty good as you can see some of these you know prices which is very interesting because the way that pulse chain is different than any of these other chains like binance avalanche etc it's going to have different prices it's not going to sync the prices along these different coins so for example pulse bitcoin is going to be different price on pulse chain than on the actual bitcoin okay hex and that could be very interesting for arbitrage scenarios and it sets up really cool scenarios that I think it's going to be big guys. I think this is going to be pretty much the biggest thing we've seen in a while. Okay. Cause we're talking an entire blockchain. We're not talking like a coin, one coin, or one, you know, ERC 20 token or like Zen, like a, an airdrop coin and all these different chains. It's an actual chain. It's like Ethereum, Binance, Cardano, Solana, Polygon. Okay. And look at their market caps. Okay. 7 billion, 7 billion, 12 billion. I think Pulse eventually will break into the top 10 of the entire market cap of crypto. Once people catch on to what it can do and how it makes sense to do DeFi on Pulse because you're paying no fees basically and you're getting the same exact centralization, if not a lot better, and security behind the blockchain. And you can earn in just a fully decentralized way so there's going to be a lot of ways mostly with the farming if you guys have been using the test net all right so i've just been compounding in the farm and just testing it out as you can see you know i have over a million dollars here farming which is insane it's so cool to come in here and oh man made another 40k today you know just harvesting it's uh pretty cool but you know obviously these numbers are way inflated because of the test net now, like I said, could it eventually reach that high? Yes, I think it could. But it's going to take some time. It's going to take, you know, time for this thing to grow. But this is an entire blockchain, guys. I, I can't stress that enough. Okay, it's an entire blockchain. It's not just a coin. It's not just, you know, <laughs> it's an entire blockchain. All right. So this is where the value is in cryptocurrency, in a, in a blockchain. All right. So. You can see the test nets working great. If you have used any DeFi before, you can see you know, just how cheap it is. Now, of course, as Pulse grows in price, it may not be, you know, because we're looking at, you know, this is going to be half a PLS for gas, right? And if we go back here, the 
PLS price was 17 cents. So here again, you know, <laughs> it's still cheap. It's still cheaper than any other chain, all right? But as the pulse price grows, the gas price inevitably will grow as well, which, you know, over time isn't gonna really hurt, I think, if we can get up to this liquidity. I mean, this would be like the all-time ultimate, you know, pulse price, all right? And it'll still be cheaper than all these other chains to interact. And the way it's gonna have a bridge, okay, so, I just want to go back real quick here to Hex, for example, and give some different comparisons because, you know, I look back at this and man, it is just insane to look at this. So if you were in crypto back in 2020, which I've been in crypto since about 2017, and I got into these Hex lobbies, but I got like in the beginning, you know, where you weren't getting as much. I mean, look at the first day, 47,000 Hex per E. This is this right here is the hex you get per Ethereum that you put into these lobbies. That's how it worked back then, where you basically deposit your Ethereum in here in a decentralized way through MetaMask, you know, just like you would now with doing exchanges or anything. You would deposit it in here, and then after this closed every single day, you would be able to claim your hex that you got. And you can see how from day 25 all the way on through about day. 51. So there's about a 26 day period where you can get over a million hex per Ethereum. Now, man, I wish I would have had the foresight to see that back then. And a lot of people did. A lot of people have made tons of money with hex. And that's how you did it right here is you got in when the prices were like that because it never really got back up to that point because people caught on and you started getting less and less. Because if we look at the price of ETH back then during that time period, ETH was between $450 and $680, give or take, between those time periods when you could have gotten a million hex for one ETH. So we'll average that out. Let's just say at the very top, $680, bucks, okay? Put $680 bucks and you got over a million hex. Now, today's prices of that, we're looking at a million hex is going to be $59,000, all right? So just the simple math of 59,000 divided by 680 that's an 86 X right there and if you were to got you know more than sometimes you could have got 1.2 million hex that's 70 K so let's say you got 1.2 million hex all right 70 K divided by 680 that's over 100 X at just today's prices this point had spiked up to you know 40 cents at the very peak okay so almost another you know, 8x from where we are right now, all right? And so that 70K would be closer to half a million dollars, okay? So half a million dollars for $680, all right? So let's just do that quick math, divide by 680. That's a 735x, all right? So that's how this was able to grow so much and you know, if you look at the market cap of Hex, it actually doesn't display it because I don't know why it never displays it, but if you just take the total supply and multiply it by the price, you're looking at around a $30 billion market cap, okay? And that puts Hex right here by Binance Smart Chain, all right? So by BNB. Now BNB obviously has got more than just the smart chain. It's got the exchange, it's got the regular chain. It's got more than that, okay? But could I see Hex getting into the top five Passing XRP, passing Cardano, definitely, definitely. And, and what I mean by that is actually Pulse, uh, because I think a lot of the volume is going to come in. Now, you might see Hex market cap if they ever eventually list it, but they're going to have to list the Pulse market cap. Okay, there's no reason why they wouldn't list the Pulse chain market cap, because they're listing the Arbitrum market cap, and that was basically an airdrop to everybody. That's at a $1.3 billion market cap. All right, Uniswap, they're listing that. That's at a 3.8 billion. So Pulse Chain will get listed in the market cap when it goes live, okay? And when that happens, things are gonna get pretty crazy, all right? So we, obviously, you know, if, you've, if you're in this, it's better to just test it out, um, you know, like you can just test out the different functions of the exchange you're gonna have a lot of things built on this. You're gonna have DeFi projects. You're gonna have a bunch of different stuff. Okay, 
I'm sure NFTs, that'll come. All that stuff that you can do on Ethereum and all these other chains that cost way more in gas fees. You know, your BRC20s, you know, your meme coins and all that. That can be on, on Pulse. And it's, it will be a lot more fun because more people can interact with it. You don't have to worry about crazy, insane gas fees. And it just would be a better solution to everything. You know, this is what we've needed. We needed a reliable, decentralized, secure blockchain that is cheap to interact with and doesn't cost you, you know, 20 to $30 per transaction or even, you know, 80 to 80 cents to a dollar per transaction. That's still pretty high. Okay, because that's really limiting, you know, how much you can interact with because, you know, not every place in the world has that type of capital. So if you can get in here and you can put, you know, $10, $20 in and, and do DeFi, and it's not costing you an arm and a leg to interact with it. That is where the profit can be made. All right. So we'll see when this goes live, you know, how the, how the price goes. I think honestly, it's going to end up being like a lot like Hex where, you're gonna have on the very launch. You're gonna have the original run up, probably two to three X pretty quickly, okay? And then you're gonna have consolidation and just slow push up until it really catches on, okay? And it's gonna take probably a year and a half at least. Now, crypto moves quick, so it might, that might get chopped in half. It might only take seven, eight months, you know, a year. And we see Pulse really at all time high prices to insane levels. You know to that 700 900 x that hex was able to get from those lobbies now for me i'm probably going to get close to 3 million pulse and about 2 million pulse x i sacrifice about 700 bucks between the two about 450 for pulse chain about 250 for pulse x so that should be pretty interesting we'll see how that works out and you, you know just play around the test net if you have coins to mess around with so i'm going to oh, i never actually did the swap so i approved it because every time you do a transaction you have to approve the token because that's a more secure way and it honestly doesn't cost anything to do that on pulse so that's why it's really a great blockchain and it's got a great core because that's what you need with these blockchains is a great core there's a lot of different things i can't even list all the things that they've changed with pulse chain versus ethereum and these other you know type of blockchains to where the admin keys have been removed and it's much more secure and just way better than all these other chains because they've looked at all these chains and made improvements on them and that's what they've done with pulse so it's honestly it's really exciting times so this is how you would add liquidity you know this is what i just do i've just been doing the pulse chain to these incentive token uh liquidity you know different strategies when this goes live what am i gonna do probably gonna get into the farms because that's where you can make some money you know obviously it is high risk you know in the farms because the prices can change but holding the tokens also the price can change so I figured might as well get in the farms and earn some APY when it's, when it's high, you know, and even over time, I mean, if I were to, were to get this type of liquidity, this would be pretty insane, you know, from a $700 sacrifice, you know, because if we did get that crazy run up, you know, 700 X, so let's say $700 times 700 X, you're looking at half a million. All right. So that would be really, really insane. Now I would just play with the house money at that point just earn off of that every single day and have fun in crypto again because this is kind of what i've been waiting for because it really hasn't been you know much fun things in crypto that you know you can really earn from and feel good about it you know there's a lot of ways to earn in crypto but you don't always feel good about it at the end of the day there's a lot of pump and dumps there's a lot of you know mean mean coin you know rugs and you know decentralized platforms that are there for two weeks or a month and they're gone tomorrow you know this is going to be here a very long time pretty much forever i think as long as crypto's around pulse will be around and we are at the forefront of this the beginning stages you know imagine the people the beginning stages of ethereum 
all right beginning stages of cardano beginning stages of avalanche these other tokens i mean look at ethereum guys i mean when i first started 11 bucks you know this is way you know if you got into the pre-sale of ethereum you got one ethereum you basically got a dollar per ethereum all right now this is when i got first listed on coinbase back in 2016 at 12 bucks went up to 22 bucks went down to about six bucks all right that's what it's gonna happen you know but over time the people that win are the people that hold so that's where the real money is to be made here guys is people that have the vision and the long term approach that's how you're gonna make great money in crypto especially in pulse chain and yeah guys just super exciting times okay so if you're in this you know this is the time to really just have some fun in crypto again you know spread the word about pulse chain and just show people how it works and there's going to be different ways you know you're going to be able to interact with this now you're probably thinking well how do i get in this to start if i don't have anything well they're going to have a bridge they're going to have a bridge just like matic just like avalanche just like these other tokens that have bridges between the blockchains and how are they going to do that because when we sacrifice guys and see this is what i think is he's going to do richard hart and this is why he had the sacrifice in all these different coins was because he's got the liquidity already in all these coins now has he sold some of these into tether probably but other than that guys you know this is the starting on ramp to get in here that's why it probably took so long because you know i've seen some people you know like the crypto saints of the world they used to be called uh, it goes by the meta or something now you know me and crypto saint go way back uh, we go way back in time here in the crypto space still enjoy watching his uh listen to his videos once in a while but uh his big thing was how is this not launched when you've got about over a billion dollars in sacrifices how have you not launched a blockchain in over two years and the reason why is because i think he kept a lot of that sacrifice as liquidity for the bridge and he's probably only paid maybe you know 10 million 20 million something like that for to get this going with these devs because good devs will work for that guys because they can see the future of the project and they'll you know they'll make up for that on the back end and, you know no dev in the right mind is going to turn down 10 million 20 million to work on an entire blockchain all right so this is going to get launched uh and that's honestly what i think is going to be the starting liquidity and it's going to be pretty interesting to see how the bridge works i tried to use the testnet bridge but i had a problem with the testnet ethereum uh network but yeah it's going to be pretty seamless i think uh in order to go in and out of pulse because that's where the real profits are because let's not you know let's not kid ourselves guys you know to make some money off of this we want to pull some profits eventually you know when we we have those days you know like if, if i ever got this high in liquidity yeah i'd probably pull you know every week or so i'd probably pull out 100 grand you know and just keep that in ethereum trade it for some, you know stable coin whatever this and that but to come in and out of the pulse chain network is what's going to be big because there's going to be a lot of liquidity that can come in here make some money and then go out and then come back in again and go you know it's going to be <laughs> it's just going to be wild how this is all going to work out and yeah it's just exciting times you know i'm not expecting it to moon overnight it might but then it might crash overnight again but over time you know if you look at the hex chart this is what we have to go off of guys for the long term and that's what i'm looking at so for me i'm gonna have the long-term vision on this one you know i'm not gonna take you know, the quick profits because i've already cashed that money off i mean it's been over two years you know so i'm gonna play with this house money and try to make this into a million bucks honestly uh it's gonna be that's what i'm gonna go for guys this is my last ditch effort to really make the big bucks you know i didn't get into any of these meme coins early on you know, it's hard to find them it's hard to get in on ethereum you know it's hard to know when elon's going to tweet about something and that's going to go up 30x in a day so this is my last shot here and i think that's for a lot of us we're in that boat so if we treat it like that and we just treat it like the test net where we keep a lot of the funds here and just compound the liquidity will grow guys the liquidity will get to insane levels and you know possibly pass uniswap uniswap i think is at 2 billion in liquidity and 
I think Pulse within a year is going to hit that, if not past that. So, yeah, guys, looking great. Great job by Richard Hart and the team to stay motivated and get this done because, of course, they had a lot of people that, you know, naysayers and just, you know, and I kind of started believing it at some point, but I knew in my heart that this guy, he has no reason to scam out. He's going to launch this thing. You know, but he's going to do it where it's 100%. It's either going to be launched at 100% flawless or it's not going to launch. That's how it's going to be. And no matter how long it takes, that's what it's going to be. And if you can't launch it at 100% perfect, then it's not going to launch. And that's how it's been until about seven days. So hopefully, guys, fingers crossed. We will see. Let me know if you're excited about Pulse Chain. Let me know how much Pulse you're going to get. Let me know your strategies with this. And guys, it's exciting times. And this is what I've been waiting for. Maybe you can finally again live off of crypto and not have to work anymore. Kiss that 9 to 5 goodbye. This is my new 9 to 5 farming on Pulse Chain. So guys, if you guys like that, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. And let's hit that Pulse Chain. And let's get that crypto, guys. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.